So what is an aspect ratio? An aspect ratio is basically the frame size the video was shot on. Have you ever noticed the black bars on top and bottom of a movie screen? Or in old movies or TV, the black bars on the left and right side? An aspect ratio is a portion of the width to the height of the image. Early standard television and computer monitors had an aspect ratio of 4 to 3, which means if you calculate this is 4 divided by 3 equals 1.33. So for every block horizontally of 1.33 units, the height was equal to 1, and this gives you the 4 to 3 aspect ratio. That's why the old TV monitors were almost square looking. Today, the standard aspect ratio is 16 to 9, also known as widescreen. Since 2009, it has become the most common aspect ratio for televisions and computer monitors. And it's also the international standard format for digital television, HDTV, Full HD and SDTV. It has replaced the small screen 4 to 3 aspect ratio. All of your TVs, your phone camera are all in 16 to 9. It's also the most common aspect ratio uploaded to YouTube. The principle's the same, 16 units wide by nine units high. So if we do the math again, 16 divided by nine is 1.78. So every 1.78 units along the bottom is one unit vertically. So aspect ratio should not be confused with resolution. The resolution is the pixel size of the video. So the more pixels equals the more digital information and clearer the video image will be. So for example, 720p is 1280 wide by 720 tall, which is known as HD and has 129,000 pixels. 1080p, which is 1920 by 1080, is usually known as FHD or Full HD resolution and has just over 2 million pixels. 4K or 2160p is 3840 by 2160 and is commonly known as 4K or Ultra HD resolution. It is a huge display resolution that is found on premium TVs and computer monitors. 2160p is called 4K because the width is close to 4000 pixels. In other words, it offers four times the pixels of a 1080p Full HD. So the 4K 3840 by 2160 has over 8 million pixels. 8K or 4320p has a resolution of 7680 by 4320. It's known as 8K and it has 16 times more pixels than the regular 1080p or Full HD. For now, you can only see 8K on ex really expensive TVs from Samsung and LG. So a resolution of 7680 by 4320 has over 33 million pixels. So 720, 1080p, 4K and 8K all have 16 to 9 aspect ratios. Let's do the math. 1080p is 1920 by 1080. So 1920 divided by the 16 and the 16 to 9 ratio equals 120. Then take 120 times 9 and that gives you the other side of 1080. Same for 4K. So we have 3840 divided by 16 equals 240. 240 times 9 gives the 2160. And the same works for the 8K resolution. Finally, we have 21 to 9 aspect ratio. This is used to shoot ultra wide format used when shooting movies with anamorphic lenses. This gives a very wide cinematic look to the video. These lenses capture a wider image and squeezes it into a 16 by 9 or 4 to 3 format. This can then be de-squeezed later on in post 
to get the aspect ratio of 21 to 9. A lot of YouTubers try to simulate this look by adding black bars to their 16 to 9 ratio footage, but more on this later. There are lots of computer monitors out there now available with a 21 to 9 aspect ratio, and a lot of gamers and video creators are now using them. So what would all this look like? Here we have three TVs or monitors set up and loaded with 21.9 video footage into them. We see that the 21.9 monitor shows a full screen with the ultra wide ratio. The middle 16 to 9 monitor would show black bars top and bottom, and the 4 to 3 monitor would show up with huge black bars top to bottom. In this row, we have the same setup but with 16.9 video loaded. We see that the left, the 21.9 ultra wide, would have black pillars on the left and right side. And the 4 to 3 monitor would have huge black bars top and bottom. In this example, we have loaded the 4 to 3 video into each monitor. The 21 to 19 monitor has huge black pillars left and right. And the 16.9 monitor does the same but to a lesser extent. So this is what your different aspect ratios would look like on different monitors or TV setups. So after all that math, it's time to head over to Premiere Pro, where we'll show you how to take your 1080p and 4K video and create it into ultra wide 21 to 9 aspect ratio. So you get that full cinematic look. So let's get to it. So the first thing that we've done is take a 1920 by 1080 uh, timeline or sequence and we have a 1920 by 1080 clip. So the first thing we'll address is um, a lot of people are now are using the 21.9 or 21 to 9 uh, monitors. So what a lot of people will do to mimic that 21 to 9 aspect ratio is they'll take a PNG and they'll drop it over here. And then they have these black bars here. And I'm fine with that. Um, the only thing you got to be aware of is if you do this, um, when this goes into a 21.9 aspect monitor and we've exported it out as uh, 16 to 9, these bars will be a lot bigger and also it could end up having a boxes on the side as well here so just be aware of that so if you're going to do that a better way might be to use the cropping effect so the first thing to do would be if you're going to do that is to click on this little new item here do adjustment layer say okay drag the adjustment layer on top of here for however long you want it and then what you're going to go do is look for the effects panel in here, type in the word crop, and then just drag that crop on top of the adjustment layer. And when you're in here now, um, you're going to go over to the effects panel and look at your crop and then you can do top. You can add your bottom. So if you do 10 and 10, for example, That would be a way you can do it. And then you can manipulate that actually. So this can open up like a sequence such as this. So another way of doing this so that if you export your 16 by nine ratio movies out whether it's 1080p or 4k they will display on a 21.9 monitor in full screen so a way to do this is change your sequence settings click on sequence go to sequence sequence settings you don't have to change the 1920 but let's change the this guy to 823 and then just say okay here you're preview will also change select OK select OK again and now we have this wider ultra wide view that they'll see on an ultra wide 21 to 9 ratio monitor 
So let's make this sequence from start just so you understand what's going on. So do file, new, sequence. When you're inside of here, it doesn't matter what comes up here. Go to settings, click on this editing mode, select custom. Uh, the time base is 23.976, that's good. This is actually cinematic for uh, 24 frames per second. So we want to change this guy now to 1920 horizontally by 823 vertically. And then you get the same thing down here also. One thing to make sure you change this, this will, this pixel aspect ratio, make sure that's changed to one. And then we would say, okay. It's called sequence two in this case. And that is the cinematic aspect ratio that we want. So how do we get those numbers? So by doing the math again, if we do this and do sequence settings, let's move this over here. So doing the math, we have 1920 divided by 21 for the horizontal part of the 21 to 9 ratio and that equals 91.43 when you round it up and we take that number so 91.43 times 9 the second half of the 21 to 9 ratio and that gives us 823 when you round it up and now you can take your 1080p 1920 by 1080 clip drop it into that sequence Keep the existing settings. This is talking about the sequence, not the video clip you just put in here. And there we have that 21 to 9 aspect ratio. So let's talk about 4K. If you have a 4K clip, how can you get that to the 29 to 21 to 9 aspect ratio? So let's make a new sequence. Again, we'll do file, new sequence. Again, forget whatever comes up here. Go to settings. Select editing mode, go to custom, and you can leave it at 23.976. Make sure this aspect ratio is set to 1. So for 3840, the horizontal is 3840. So to get our vertical number, we need to do some math. 3840 divided by 21 equals 1. 83 if you round it up so take the 183 times 9 and you get 1645 so we're going to put in 1645 right here so now you'll notice that the preview didn't change um it's because i'm working on a windows computer and i frame only mpeg will not do the 29, 21 to 9 ratio for 4K. So we have to change this. So if you're on Windows, all you have to do is click on this and just choose GoPro Cineform YUV 10 bit. And then your numbers will match up here. Also, uh, you can rename the sequence if you want to. I'm leaving it like this, say OK. So now we have a 4K uh, 4K with the 21 to 9 aspect ratio. So if you get a 4K clip, we just drag it into here. Keep the existing sequences. And if you need then to uh, manipulate the scene a little bit here, we would just click on the video clip. Your effects controls come up. And then you can move it up or down. You'll see, uh, be careful where you go too high but you can bring it down now to whatever suits your project. In my case, it would be right here. And then here we go. And then you have your 4K footage in 21 to 9 aspect ratio um, also. So to save you time from doing all the math, in the description below or here on the screen right now is the actual values you need for... 720p, 1080p, and 4K. 
All right, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it'd be great if you would subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and leave a comment in the uh, down below. I'd love to hear what you think, and uh, enjoy. And I'll see you on the next one.